In Altena, the kingdom of magicians, the true queen's magic was all that kept the freezing temperatures of the surrounding snowy lands at bay. But as the mana of the world grew weaker, so did her power. Bit by bit, the ice and cold began to encroach on the castle. Citizens, we all feel the magic draining from the land as mana weakens. For our mighty kingdom of Altena, this is of grave concern. We shall not sit idly while our country crumbles. No, no, we must open the forbidden portal to the sanctuary of mana, and then we can obtain the sword of mana. I thought that we tried to imagine what we could have to say in order to try to imagine the true queen. Be still. Legend says the portal to the Sanctuary of Mana only appears after activating the Mana Stones throughout the world. Obviously, no country would willingly give up a precious Mana Stone, so we expect a certain amount of resistance. We shall muster our strength and take the Mana Stones by force. Our true queen will obtain the Sword of Mana to rule her magic empire. Long live the true queen! Glory to Altena! Oh, come on, Jose! Please... Hush! No need to shout, your highness. Honestly, you know, 
I used to be the sharpest of the great magic users in the Altanish court. <laughs> oh, oh, hang on. I do not need another trip down your winding memory lane. Just teach me the rest of yesterday's lesson. I've told you time and time again. You cannot use magic simply by learning the steps. Your magic has not manifested because you rely on form instead of spirit. Oh, please, not another lecture. Fine, I just won't ask for lessons anymore then. Take that. Oh, this child. Look. There's Victor. Hey, Victor! Hey! Oh, uh, morning, Your Highness. Have you finished your magic lessons already? You know, Jose complains to me whenever you skip lessons, right? Please consider my plight next time, Your Highness. Angela, princess and heir to the throne of Altena. With a heavy burden dogging her steps, Angela grew up fatherless in the shadow of her mother's royal duties. Her childhood was extremely lonely. Instead of affection from her mother, it seemed all she received were scoldings. Though she knew that the queen had important responsibilities that kept the two from playing, that knowledge didn't stop Angela's frustrated tears. Starved for attention, the princess grew into a rebellious youth. She often acted out, playing pranks on members of the court. Though Angela became a renowned beauty, much like her mother, she remained woefully unable to wield the magic power of her bloodline. That lack of talent was never far from her mind. Ugh, I am so bored. Why does nothing ever happen around here?
wizard is training the mages harder than ever. I heard some were injured, but I suppose that's one of the dangers of war. I'm not sure, but the Crimson Wizard might be as powerful as Her Majesty the Queen now. Oh, there you are! Uh, Your Highness, the Queen and her advisor have called for you. Uh, I will wait for you in the gardens. Now is not the time to dawdle. Please hurry, Your Highness. This is urgent! Her Majesty is preparing our troops to invade Valsena across the sea! We must go to her, Your Highness. Your Majesty, I believe... Angela, allow me to explain. As you know, we must control the Mana Stones to gain access to the Sanctuary. That is the reason for our... invasion. Legend says if we activate the energy of the Mana Stones in the world, the portal will open. And we don't question legend. We shall begin with the Altenish Mana Stone. Uh, how will you do that? We will use a forbidden magic spell, outlawed because it takes the life of the Enchanter in exchange for that mana energy. However, my associate and I are too important for this sacrifice. If we use your body as a vessel for that cursed magic, your death would act as the catalyst we need to release the Mana Stone's true power. But, 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 Mother! You've been a useless blight on my lineage for far too long. To think that my daughter could be so weak and powerless. Under these circumstances, sacrificing yourself for the spell is the most fitting end for my heir. Now come. No! No! She's gone! Hmm... Where? I'm outside the castle. But... Why? Why would my mother... I can't return. I can't return, but I have no idea what to do now. Wasn't there a village to the east? That might be my only option at this point.
I actually won. I think. to Ulrent. Please rest until you feel well. Cheery, look! Our guest woke up!
for a walk to boost my mood. Welcome. <laughs> Come again. Ma'am, I don't know what to do. Please give me guidance. Sometimes people lose any last spark of hope and fall into the deepest despair. <laughs> when that happens, you must go to Holy City Wendell and seek advice from his eminence, the Priest of Light. The Priest of Light? To find your way through the darkness of despair, you will need a guiding light. Go to Wendell, child. That is your fate. Huh? Come on! This fraud told me the same thing. <coughs> Go to Wendell or whatever. All I asked was whether my next child was going to be a boy or a girl. City Wendell, huh? I don't know what awaits me there, but I guess it's bound to be better than getting caught here in my own kingdom. I'll go. I mean, nothing could possibly be worse than staying cooped up in the castle. And if I learn how to handle my magic, maybe my mother will welcome me back. There's a chance, at least. Heavy with the Queen's rejection. Angela left Altena as a wanted criminal with a price on her head. taken the town and closed the docks. Now my ship's stuck in the harbor until who knows when. Oh, come on! Now how am I supposed
supposed to get to win. I don't know what I was expecting, but I don't like the look of these beastmen at all. What's with that look, huh? <laughs> Move along, human. If it's a fight you want. Wait, uh, where? <laughs> Feeling better? Don't go looking for trouble. Those brutes, they won't hold back. humans during the day, but at night, they transform into animals. Don't leave the house after dark, you hear? Hey, if you're trying to leave the city, night is actually best. Once the beastmen transform, they lose their better judgment. The whole lot of them tend to get together and brawl amongst themselves until dawn. It's easier to sneak out of the city then. Good luck. If it's easier to sneak around at night, I'll just go to the inn and rest until then. I am not about to risk my complexion by staying up all night. Pardon me. My younger brother is missing, and I must find him as soon as possible. Have you perchance seen a little lost boy around here? Really? Where? Where did you see him? Oh, you lied to me. How terrible. But... I suppose this was an attempt to cheer me up in your own way. So I thank you.
light was floating over the lake. Maybe it'll appear tonight, too.
What's that? A light? Light was definitely magical. Maybe if I follow it, I'll find the mage who cast it. <laughs> 